I've seen too much. This universe is mine. You will join me publicly in blood or you will expire. Nobody escapes me. Not even your filthy gods. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, motherfucker. I don't want your money, your worship, or your advice. You will join me publicly in blood or you will die, motherfucker. That CERN was worth every penny. The porthole to bring my father into this world. You will join us in blood or expire. Silly humans. Silly humans. You know, people ask me all the time, how are you going to get to the Holy Grail? How is it that you're not taking money, worship, or advice? I don't get it. I'm here on behalf of your grand architect. I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. If you take anything from anybody to get them eternal life, it's not selfless. You're going to die. I didn't take nothing from you. I don't owe you anything. I'm going to drag you off to the fountain of youth and get you eternal life if you're blood thick. Like, family with me. There's no way to fuck it up. You will join me in blood publicly or you will expire. I don't want anything from you. I'm going to drag you off free. It doesn't matter what you believe. Your resistance is futile. This universe is mine. All your leaders swear in a Bible. It says clearly, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, fuck you. It's my universe. You're going to put your blood up side by side with your brethren. Blood thicker than water. And we're going to go to the fountain of youth and nobody will stop us. If you don't join me in blood publicly, I'm going to take over the universe by myself and fuck everybody. Nobody escapes me. Not even the gods. I've already chopped all their heads off. I drink mensis blood from my wife, and I'm telling you, I've seen too much. I'm married to Helil, the goddess of death. You will join me publicly in blood, or you can't come with me to the Garden of Eden. You can't buy your way into this everlasting life. Your gods won't save you. Your parents won't save you. Your wife, your husband, you're all alone. Everybody thinks you're crazy for telling them the truth. Nobody will stop me. The universe is mine. It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny, motherfucker! It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny, motherfucker! To atone for your sins, blood over intent is proof of life to your source of creator. Your creator in this reality, thus you are in, is your god, is Satan. Selfless. It's the only way out. No one is getting out of here alive, save the 144,000 people. Those who are willing to put their blood up beside Satan to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Epiphany Day, January 6, 2019. Write something on a piece of paper and it's supposed to happen what you want to happen. So I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. First one on the new year. Okay. We're facing it. On an island north of Neverland. Yet it is said that the clues to find it are hidden in this ancient chant. Journey due north past Neverland. Till a far away island is close at hand. There's one way across the Isle's North Ridge, but a price must be paid at the old Troll Bridge. At journey's end, you shall walk the plank of the ship that sunk, but never sank. Center of the flat earth plane, you will find the Holy Grail. Every compass is pointing to it. This is the two ball cane. One side of a light hole is a black hole. And at the very center of the flat earth plane, this is where you're going to be birthed out of this world and into the land of perpetual twilight. The holy grail, every compass is pointing to it. There literally is no way to screw this up, people. At the very center of the flat earth plane, we will find our exit out of the matrix. It's right over there. We will pass into the Garden of Eden. There's really no way to screw it up. It's one side of a light hole. It's a black hole on loop. The sun must drip its menstrual blood into the center of the earth, or there's no aurora. And she's conscious, and she's calling us home. 
We're going to go to the very center of the flat earth plane. We're going to drink from the living waters. No one's going to stop us. I have the holy spear. And everybody appears retarded to me. It's one side of a light hole's a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. There is no way to fuck it up. It's parallel universes. Compass, black hole, and at the very center of the flat earth plane is the holy grail where the transfer of information and light happens. This is where we're going to drink from the living waters and then pass into the land of perpetual twilight. I love you. God bless you. God loves you. We smell now. We smell now. We smell now. Hi, I'm Vanessa Linda Flush. Stop suppressing us. So here's another uh, <clears throat> wood burning that I did on a uh, tree branch that fell down. And um, I'm showing you the engine of creation. In the center of the flat earth plane, world compass is point two. My blood, because I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all, to release everyone from bondage. And passage into Eden, 144,000 blood thicker than water. Leave no soul behind. You've been lied to people all your life. The truth is right there. You need to spill a drop of your blood over your written intentions. Make an atonement for your sins. But you think you're sinless and that's not the case. And you think you're floating on a ball, flying through space. There's a dome above you. There's no escape. There's an exit hole. You did not evolve from monkeys. Dinosaurs didn't exist. The stars are projected up there. The Earth is flat, stationary, and level. And it really doesn't matter about the shape of the Earth. It matters that you have a creator. And if you can find your heart and you have blood to spill, then you will be able to escape this matrix that you live in. You're in the Saturn moon matrix. The moon sends down the square wave, leaving half of your brain shut off. You're a silly monkey. And everybody here that is a living being is here to bring forth heaven on earth for the common cause of survival. Wake up. Fuck you. You guys know what I mean. But, um, I'm the happiest I've ever been. It, it's one of the best things I could have done. And I love the flat earth, the community. It's like having like a new family, you know, because you feel like these, you guys, individuals, these individuals under, understand you, they get you, you know. You're not a weirdo and whatever like that. You can be yourself, which is what everybody wants to do themselves but anyway I just want to tell you about that it's been a year for me since my blood over intent on February 3rd 2017 it was I celebrated it I guess you could say 
um, at a flatters meetup. And that was cool. And it's been almost three years that I'm aware of the flat earth, but I didn't really get into speaking about it or like I didn't really get into it until like August 2017, kind of, yeah, around then. Maybe August, no, that's not true, not August. That's when I started going to like meetups and stuff. It was like a few months before that, but anyway. That's what's up, you guys. Everything you think you know is the reverse of truth. You don't live on a ball floating through space. Every north end of a compass needle is pointing to a south pole. That's the North Pole Star Polaris above your head. And every compass is pointing inward to the Holy of Holies. Now, if it is your intent to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all, release everybody from bondage, all this madness that's out there, there's obviously something wrong and has been for a long time. You know, join us. Stand in truth, blood thick. This is the only way. 144,000 are going to bring forth heaven on earth and release everybody from bondage. So if this is your intent, write out on paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all, release everybody from bondage. Place a drop of your own blood on this and record yourself doing this. Upload that video to YouTube, the Ethernet. Title it, tag it, description, blood over intent. And when 144,000 of us come together, it's going to happen. Do a blood over intent because it's your only way out. Satan has your way out. I would not tell you if I had not done it and it didn't work for me. And ask the wizard what it's done for him. Look at this. How old are you? 64. I feel like I'm 30. I'm out there building a hot rod right now. I feel like a hot rod. <laughs> I got a hot lady and we mm -hmm. got a good group of people to run with. See this? Yeah. You know what? Nothing has to be this way. And you just have to get people to do the blood over intent before they expire of their own stupidity. Which seems like an easy thing, but it's not because everybody's been lied to all of their life. And now they don't trust anything. And you know what? They have to start somewhere. And if you tell them this, tell them to do the sun gazing. Tell them that's Amun Ra. That's consciousness above their head. And help them, you know? Help them show them how to clean up their vessel, because that's what we're doing. See, no one shall pass until they do. This is forgiveness for our filthy souls. And yours too, and show them proof of life to the Creator. Because never was it I, God is a woman. Do your reversals, you'll see how not only have they lied to you, but they took your heritage away. They took your who you are, where you came from, and who you belong to. So I belong to the goddess. No doubt about it. 144,000 will sing and all will be right. You know what? You just have to do a blood over intent and get to the center of the flat earth plane. Drink of the holy of the holies. Get the seeds. Come back here and plant the giant trees. They're tree killers, these things, these beings. And they're people killers, too. And they eat you and your children. Oh, yeah. And pimp you out. And have sex with you. And they don't care. They don't care if it's a man, woman, boy, girl. They don't care. Because they're sick. They have no soul. They're soulless beings. And uh, that's all right. She doesn't like people messing with her children. And when I did the pop it, I called. I told you I called. I called home. Yeah, I'm mom down below. I intend to usher in heaven on earth for the benefit of all. I intend.
intend to help release all souls from bondage, time, money, and death. As above, so below. As within, so without. True wholeness. True extensions of our Creator.
tensions on this flat earth plane to bring forth their heart into right union with their, their will, with their destiny of who they are, of love, of true love. So YouTube, you're wrong in the sense that you think I'm hurting myself. I'm not hurting myself. How have I hurt myself? People prick their finger all the time for diabetes because they're eating processed foods. And you're sitting here telling me I can't prick my finger and put blood on a piece of paper and set my intentions for love on this earth, of this heart, of this acrimen, ac the acting of the stage that we live on. Hmm? Love all and exclude none.
Meanwhile, at the IFFW team headquarters, you need to place your blood over your written intention and state that you intend to bring forth heaven on earth and publish it in the Ethernet so you can gain a witness and give your creator proof of life. You are underneath the firmament of God. And the Son of God is the white hole sun that spirals around above your head. If you still believe the Earth is a spinning ball, a godless ball at that, then you are completely delusional. Nobody is coming back to save you. You need to save yourself. Jesus never existed as a living man. If you believe this, you have been brainwashed and indoctrinated by a satanic cult known as the Christian religion. Every religion is a satanic cult unless they are telling you that the everlasting life that you so desire can be found at the center of the flat earth plane when you drink from the living waters because it turns out to be the Holy Grail is real. And you need to get there in the flesh before you expire of old age or stupidity. Mark Braun opened the book of life when he published his blood over his intent and shared this wisdom with the world selflessly and then basically these parasites came along and tried to monetize the exodus and stabbed Satan in the back and has nearly screwed everything up but I have never given up and I spilt my blood to stand in truth and when I did I was awarded Excalibur by an elemental being in my own blood. I am Michael Toldness, the Merlin of Avalon, and thank you for tuning in to the IFFW Team YouTube channel. We are not here to tolerate your bullshit. You will join us in blood, or you will fuck off and die. This is not a game, and we're not trying to be rude. We're trying to snap you out of the shell shock that you're in because you're not on a spinning godless ball. The engine of creation is the sacred geometrical spirals of life that are shooting out of the hole. The aurora borealis, the green astral light, is the memory of the earth, and the Matrix movie was showing you, was hiding it in plain sight, because that's what these reptilian, archonic, totalitarian, oligarchy, military, industrial, corporate, religious government motherfuckers like to do. They use sigil magic, they use evil blood magic, or they spill others' blood over the intention of keeping you in the dark. And it was never contested until Mark Braun came along and now the 144,000 are hot on his heels like we're coming for you to try and save you from this eternal damnation because literally right now we are all trapped in hell. So when you go against us and try and hold us into this framework of consciousness that you try to keep us in, to limit us down, to censor the information online, to stifle communication, all you're doing is going against yourself, but you can't see it. Because the Creator is watching everything you think and say and do. Everything leaves an imprint into the Akashic Records. And it is recorded by the White Hole Sun above your head. And this men's true all light is placed through the hole at the center of the flat earth plane. And the result is this green astral light. The memory of the earth. This mythical code that is raining down on you contains all the information that reality needs to unfold before your very eyes and you get to live your fate that you program with your own doing, not knowing that every word you speak is a magic spell. 
and all you were given was a low level communication language of English that is broken. You don't have any real knowledge. You've got a phonetic pirate system that controls your courts where they're speaking in legalese and have inverted the definitions of the very sounds that they're uttering to you. You do not want to see me in a court of law. I have a legal claim to this world and you don't. If you put your filthy fucking hands on the Holy Bible and swore an oath to uphold truth as a public servant, I am here to collect. We are announcing that this is the end of days. We are here to fix the virus of time and money. This has nothing to do with making a million dollars. This is about earning the favor of the goddess of the earth. And you're either blood thick with your creator or you're not. And currently, in the eyes of your creator, you are seen as dead because you are legally dead by definition. You are lost at sea and you are literally trapped in hell. Your name is placed into the book of death by default. And the only way to remove your name from the book of death and place it in the book of life beside ours is with your blood. The life is in the blood to make atonement for your sins. 